What's going on everyone? Yet FPV here and this video is very special because we are going to give away a fully built 5 inch FPV quad. Woo! So this quad is a 5 inch brand new frame and including a brand new motor as you can see here. This is a T-Motor Velox that is sponsored by Malex FPV. Woo! Okay guys, so right now we're gonna test fly this quad to make sure everything is working alright before sending out to you guys. And make sure to stay till the end to find out more information on how you are able to win this quad. Let's Woo! go! Let's go! Again, again. This is the frame. This is the TBS Source 1 V4. Yeah, this is the 3D printed parts for this frame. So lucky you, we have a 3D printed part. And the good thing is this is a glowing in the dark 3D print. So let's go. T-motor pacer, 50 amps, ESC. This is the Pyro Drone Flight Controller. Falcor. So this is what we're going to use. The, the Foxier Falcor FPV camera. Right here's the motors. Right. No, not yet. Receiver. Take note that I'm not going to include a receiver for this build because the reason why is you, you might have a different radio controller. So. I'm not gonna include a receiver. You can. It's very cheap. You can just buy a receiver um, for your controller. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this for the setup, and then I'm gonna remove it later when we announce the winner. All right. So, yep. Sorry for that. I think we're good to go. So let's. 
built it. All right, so let's get into the building. Set everything aside and prepare the tools that we're going to need. Solder, soldering iron, wire, this tip cleaner, blocks, pliers, cutter. The first thing that I'm, I love to do is assemble the frame.
So I'm done soldering the XT60 with the capacitor. So the capacitor is right here. So we're already getting there. The next thing that we're going to do is, you know, this pin right here, this JST plug, we are going to the pin this and make sure it's the right, this is in the right placement. Because this is a different ESC, it's not um, the same brand of the flight controller, so we're gonna have to repin them so they can work together. And it's pretty easy to do, we're just gonna do this. Let me show you. So to the pin, the wires, this is what you need to do. There's labels right here. I don't know if you can read them. M4, M3, M2, M1. That's the motors. Motor 1, 2, 3, and 4. Current, telemetry, ground, and VBAT. So basically what we need to do is follow these wires and make sure they connect together. So the power will be the red and the black will be the ground. That's the thing that we need to do first. Px is the yellow wire here. I'm going to connect it to next to the next to the ground uh, ground pin. Right. I'm gonna skip one slot and then Motor 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, that's easy. One slot and then one. the FPV camera right here and the VTX right here so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the flight controller to the ESC and then check whether everything is good to go if there's a smoke that means there's a problem we 
did something wrong. I did something wrong. But if there's no smoke, then we're good to go. This is the first time that we're going to plug the battery. So we want to make sure that everything is safe. So I'm going to use this smoke stopper. This is very important, guys. If you ever want to build a quad and you're not sure if it's gonna work or not, whether you're not sure if your soldering is good or you've bridged something, this thing will help you save your quad so it's it's not gonna smoke. Like it will turn red if there's something there's like a problem, so it depends. So now we will see. This is the first time I'm gonna plug the battery. Three, two, one. Yeah, that sounds good. That means we're all good. It turns red because the motors beep, but we completed the tone, so that means it's good. Because usually when you plug the battery, it will turn red straight away. Yep. And we are almost done. The last thing that we need to solder is the receiver, which is right here. But take note that this receiver is not included with the giveaway and yeah if you have a different radio controller then you have to buy a separate receiver and solder it on this pad right here right at the top where it says rx6 tx6 ground and 5 volts that's where you're going to solder your own receiver all right so let's get into it first thing i'm going to solder is the ground wire now the black wire Next one is 5 volts. Red wire. Next is the receive, so that's the white wire. Because the white wire is a transmit, we're going to solder it to the receive. The last thing is the receive. It's a little bit long, so I'm gonna. plan for this PTX that I decided to put it behind like here and use a double sided tape
Alright, so how are you gonna be able to win this amazing FPV freestyle quadcopter that we have just built and flown? Right, so first of all, you have to keep in mind that this is gonna be our first time giving away something. And please bear with us. This is gonna be a Facebook giveaway. So everything, just go to my Facebook page and see everything there. So there are two main things that you need to remember in order for you to get into the raffle draw giveaway. Yeah, so the first thing is to follow my Facebook page and my YouTube account and Malek's YouTube account. I will link it into the description and the Facebook captions right there. And the second thing is to like, share, and comment hashtag yet fpv and tag two friends yeah that's the second thing and that's it that's all we you need to do in order for you to get into the giveaway yeah and i don't have that much followers so um there's more chance of you winning this because if somebody didn't follow the right step then you might have a chance because we are going to do it again if you have if you missed one of the steps then we have to redo the picking of the comment until we get the right um, winner which is following the Facebook and subscribing to the YouTube channels and tagging two friends liked and shared the video so that's all you need to do so you make you want to make sure that you do all those steps and yeah and this is our first giveaway and this is gonna not gonna be the last one we are planning to do a more giveaway so Make sure you are following and subscribing to our YouTube channel so that you are stay tuned on what's gonna be the next happenings. And yeah, thank you, thank you for watching this video and I hope you have learned something in, in this video, um, especially the build video of this. At least if you have break or if you win this quad and you have like broken something, you can just rewatch this video and follow the steps that I did if you have catched some of those. If you win this and you have not owned any FPV um, yet and you don't have anything like radio controller and you have not planned on using this, you can sell this to any FPV pilot right there. This um, FPV cost around, I'm gonna post it right here on how much roughly this fpv quad is once you have won this fpv quad you can do anything you want you can fly this if you have radio controller and goggles already or if you want to keep this into your you know if you want to frame this or something or if you want to be ready because you're just getting started then this anything you want as long as you follow the steps and you win this it's yours already so yeah thank you for watching and thank you so much for to malex fpv again for the um, collaboration with me stay tuned for more giveaway coming soon all right so yeah hit that subscribe button follow me on facebook because i'm gonna be doing a random giveaway soon and yeah thank you thank you for watching again yet fpv here and I hope you have a good day. Stay safe and stay healthy. Peace.